welcome back to the next part, uh, NorCal. And uh, we have just left uh, South Lake Tahoe, heading into Desolation Wilderness. We are, we packed out a sandwich, we're just about to eat that. And Bambi is going swimming. <laughs> Lovely lake. And I think it's cold. Anyway, this video I'll try not to make it as long as the last one. So, enjoy. This is Aloha Lake. Uh, very beautiful, just here as the sun is setting. You can see the snow. Oh, it's, it's just stunning, it's great. This is one of those campsites that when you're walking during the day and you walk past it, you wish that it was evening. And this is where we are for the night. It's pretty awesome. I can completely understand why they call it Desolation Wilderness. It's pretty cool. Welcome to the top of Dick's Pass. It has been a long, hard grind up Dick's. And uh, once we get our leg over, then we can just slide down Dix to the other side. And it's uh, nice and easy, just like it should be with Dix. The early morning fog on Richardson Lake, as the sun hits it with its glass reflection, is pretty cool. This is where we camped last night. Uh, we caught up with two friends of ours, Cub and Rainer, who sleeping over there. Sadly they decided actually that they are getting off trail today, which is a real shame. Uh, they've been great fun to walk with through the Sierras. And here's Bambi. We are hiking on. The differences in the terrain so far have been pretty cool compared to the Sierras or the desert. Nice dirt tracks. Hills, obviously. Nothing too awful. Um, but a lot of green. Huge Huge coniferous forests, lots of green, just very pleasant, but no views. I take it back. So it turns out NorCal does have some not bad views. Lots of trees, but you can see Tahoe Lake in the, in the distance over there. It's pretty good. It is about 20 past four. Uh, we've done 21 miles so far. We're just taking a little break and then we're going to try and bash out some more, hopefully aiming for more. Um, uh, we need to get into town tomorrow to do a quick resupply. Uh, probably gonna go to Soda Springs and then we're meeting people at the Peter Grubb hut, uh, the only real hut on the PCT. So we need to get there tomorrow night. It is currently 21 miles away so in order to make it into town and back and to get to the hut we need to be doing bigger miles today so break and then walk into the evening i am really sweaty we've just spent the last hour or so just climbing up a hill and like this this is good sweat like i am proud of this still got more work it's kind of cool that we're going uh, under some chairlifts uh Unfortunately back on snow, but you can see down the valley it's uh, a lot more snow free, which would be cool. This is Tinker's Knob. We are climbing up here this early this morning and then heading down to resupply. Tinker's Knob is nowhere near as impressive as Dick's Pass, but it is majestic in the morning light, standing firm. So it's, uh, it's a good one. It's a good knob. This is the view coming down from Tinker Knob. Uh, the wind is pretty impressive, but the, that view you can see just forever. It is 
awesome. I didn't expect NorCal to be quite this stunning. But I'm very pleased we're here now. Onward to town, food and resupply. It looks like walking through the tunnel is our only real way across under the interstate. It is full of water and I am soaking wet. But it's all about the experience, they say. It's about the journey, not the destination. They don't have wet feet. Hey, we went to Soda Springs to resupply. Very easy to get a hitch there and back. Um, mildly expensive, but that's not unexpected. But it was a really quick trip in and out, um, which was great for timing. We then drank our obligatory free beer from the Donna Ski Ranch uh, and had a sandwich, which was so worth it. Um, uh, and now we are at the Peter Grubb Hut. This is a hut which is uh, designed for backcountry skiers, it's maintained by the Sierra Club, and hikers can use it in the summer. It's an anomaly on the PCT because it's kind of the only, well, one of the few huts that they have around here. Um, the AT has loads of them, PCT, very few. Um, and it's very homely. We've got a little kitchenette area over there, wood burning stove, Bambi, um, these cool wooden tables. And hikers get to sleep upstairs. And we will be just putting up our mats there with everyone else. It is awesome. So we are saying goodbye to Coven Mayna, who is sadly getting off trail. So <laughs> goodbye. It's been awesome to hike with you guys. We've been going for a fair few hours. Uh, I think we've done about eight, nine miles. Uh, just want to show you that while NorCal does have a hell of a lot of trees, it's not just trees here. It's, it's really quite beautiful. I'm really loving these giant yellow daisy things. We seem to be seeing a lot of them at the moment. They're coming out and flower really nicely. Uh, and just... It's just so green and full of life. Butterflies everywhere, frogs, toads, and hearing all the noises and the crickets, it's, it's great. We are at the town of Sierra City. We pulled 26.2 miles yesterday, a marathon, and uh, we are at this quaint little town to resupply. Uh, not a huge selection in the shop uh, and quite pricey, but the town is incredibly hiker friendly. They've got a really nice restaurant and where we had breakfast and lunch. Now we're at the town's only bar, and we will be hiking out later on, but it's just very chilled. It's also really hot and there's a big hill we just want to wait out, but it's lovely here. We are grinding our way up this fun mountain in the morning sunlight and it's already unreasonably warm, uh, but we've just found the 12,000 mile mark. Oh, 1,200, sorry. 1,200 mile mark. Um, didn't actually expect that now, so that's quite nice. It is nine in the morning, or 9.30ish. We've come about six and a half miles so far. We are, have about a mile and a half left of this 2,000 foot climb. We started down at Sierra City, right at the bottom of that valley. And it has been a long, long climb up. Very sweaty, it's, you know, it's 9.30 in the morning and it's already roasting. Someone down in Sierra City said that it's gonna hit about 90 degrees at some point in the next few days and I can see why it's just like being back in the desert this is hot just want some tree cover mile and a bit left though and then we can have a break at the top
Good morning. We are at mile 1222. Uh, it's about 7.40 in the morning. We've been walking for about an hour and a bit. Um, I just wanted to show you this thing that we've seen seeing in the NorCal, which are, is the moss up in, up in these trees. I don't know if it's going to focus. There we go. So you get this brilliant green moss, You're mostly on the side that the sun hits more, and uh, it's got a good, like, 15 foot before it starts, and it, it covers pretty much every big tree in the Norcal region that we've kind of seen. Uh, and I only found yesterday that the reason it stops at that point is because that's where the average snow level is. And you can just see how that compares to Bambi there. Um, at some points, this slope obviously gets some pretty hefty snow, but when the sun hits this moss, it, it glows almost fluorescent. It's, it's pretty cool. The deer in NorCal are really brazen. This one is on the trail. It is not bothered by us. I'm not making, I'm not keeping myself too quiet. It's just eating. NorCal has some phenomenal views over its pine forests, but walking along these ridges is, is really quite hot. But you can just see all around us the spires and hills densely foot forested. Do you get some pretty cool wildflowers looking down there? Nikki has found a giant pine cone that is huge. Uh, I think this is from a sugar pine, which I'm guessing is what everything is around here. Um, but that's a big boy. Release it into the wild though. Be free. This is the middle fork of the feather and the best swimming spot we've found on trail. The water's really quite nice. We are halfway up a seven mile, seven, eight mile climb, two and a half thousand foot ascent. Uh, it is middle of the day and really bloody hot. Not enjoying this. Oh. We made it up that climb. Uh, we are now at Lookout Point. Uh, we'll look out rock. Uh, this climb took so much longer than expected. We, uh, I've never been as sweaty as I am now on trail. It's, uh, it's pretty gross. Good news is we have an even worse climb to do coming out of Belden in a few days. But until then, just gotta enjoy the views. And thus starts the descent down into Belden. It's about five, six miles from here and about a 5,000 foot descent, which is going to be head on the knees. But hot food at the end, so it's always a bonus. So the really fun thing about this long grinding walk down that destroys your legs is the bottom half is just covered in poison oak. Like, there is a lot of this stuff. Like, all the way along. We are in the small town of Belden. Uh, this place normally has a population of seven, but this weekend there is a music festival going on. I think it's like an acid house rave. If we had time, we'd be here for it. Now that is camping in style. There we go. Another 100 miles. 1,300, how does that feel? Painful. <laughs> We climbed the 14 mile long hill out of Belden this morning and we've got this beautiful meadow now. This is very nice. Very green. Nice to be 
enjoying that. Here we are this morning. I think it's Larson National Forest. Yesterday was a 20 mile day. Not quite the distance we like these days, but there was a bloody huge hill. Today we're aiming for 25, which will include the halfway marker. Um, and getting down into Chester, where we can shower, which would be nice. Volcanic rocks here, because we're in Larson National Forest. Not National Park, that comes in a few days, but uh, volcanic rocks pretty cool to see. This is really sad. We've nearly made it to the halfway mark without any blisters at all. So and I've just started to get some on the tips of my toe. I assume because my shoes are falling apart. Um, and I'm doing something weird to compensate because my feet hurt. But I was really hoping to do the trail without getting any blisters. But alas, that, that's not happening. After over three and a half months and 1,325 miles. We're halfway. <laughs> now, we can't quit because we've done half the suffering. It'd be a waste. How's that feel? Yes! And also introduce other Bambi. <laughs> Feels great. <laughs> Damn! Oh, hell yeah. 721. And here come the triumphant Captain and Nibbles. To the halfway. <laughs> we made it. Halfway. Congrats, boys. Yeah. Oh, so we are nearly at the road to Hitchin to Chester. Uh, about a 24 and a half mile day. Um, and we're zeroing in Chester, which is going to be awesome. I'm looking to get a new shirt. This one is filth, utter filth. Um, hopefully get some new shoes my, my feet really hurt um other than that all i gotta do is put this video together into like a, a watchable thing so thank you so much for watching um that's the end of this half of the pct uh and once we leave chester i will start the next leg uh thank you for watching sorry it's still crap <laughs>